Hey everybody, welcome back. Bogmart here. Things are going well. We're going on a pilgrimage to Jerusalem. Look, it's got it's got a dome. It's be the place where God created the world, the first human Adam. Really? Is that the the history of it? Is that is that what the Garden of Eden is supposed to be then, or did he like make Adam there, then teleport him to the? Four ter more territories. Then I can strip away his title. Rah! Countess Varvoy is dead. I never liked her. My grandson, Adrian Carling, can marry. Which one are you? You're the son of... Ah, the Black Horde. Hmm. This duchess has no kids. So if you marry her, we can put our family line in Stairmark. Yes, many kids indeed. Kadiga comes a shield maiden. Died in my dungeon. New crown, fancy. Ah, oh, remember how long it took me to get that that level cat. Oh, I'm not a xenophile. Is xenophilic. Feels like a social thing, right? Everyone is generally fascinated by all cultures. Hmm. I was murdered! Murdered, everybody! An unknown assailant! The Emperor is also murdered. Jalal Aden was also murdered by an unknown assailant. 
A flaming arrow. Wow, that's actually quite impressive. Definitely someone tried to murder me. And did. Well, everybody, that concludes the story of our Empress. Empress Elizabeth the Fair of the Roman Empire. Murdered at sea on her way home from the Holy Land. Ruler of the greatest empire in the world. Finally found peace at 76 years of age. On peril press, she could find an opponent she could not overpower. Yes, drowning at sea was the opponent she couldn't handle. She ruled for 49 years. Went to a few weddings. Hosted 18 activities. Uh, fought in 56 wars. Stewardship. Mm -hmm. Is that the French? Just with awesome knowledge of all things between heaven and earth. Should really should be legendary. Alright, well, there we are. I'm gonna... Look at her memories, see if there's anything interesting. Made some Holy Pigley, made some Holy Wars, Holy Wars. Uh, prison some Queens. Many wars, many wars. My friend, the Queen of Isle Andalus, comes. Oh, and okay. I didn't realize she committed suicide. My lover, Emperor Kuno, passed away. And then five years later, so did she. Tragic. And now he's down to a mere quarter of a million troops. A tragic, tragic end to our queen. All right, well, like I said, um, she was going to be the last one we played. Pretty good. I gotta get it out of here. Just it's fine. We did not end up getting that um that one trait that I wanted, which was a shame. That marriage finalized. My brother is a legendary weaver of things. All right. Well, ah, yeah, we can end it there. No, no, I'm pretty happy though. We we definitely got to the old borders. We also definitely expanded like all of this here. Basically everything east of that. No, no, probably east of here. East of this border, this, this river, and north of that river, down to here. Anything north of that never was originally ours. We got it. And to the Isles, we've got that island. So much more African holdings, uh, farther into Arabia, and farther um, in the Middle East. So, uh, definitely bigger uh, than the old Roman Empire. Could have been bigger, bigger. Pretty happy with how things went. Yeah, I do feel like the main the main thing kinda slowing you down would be you don't have primogeniture to start with. Uh, which kinda makes me inclined about think to think about the Byzantines again. Have I done a Byzantine run yet? Because obviously you could go Roman again. You start with primogeniture, which means expansion is a whole lot easier to do because you aren't as worried about the kids. Uh, maybe. Maybe. There was a suggestion I try maybe uh, a Mongol game. Maybe. I'll put up some thoughts, and of course, I'll get my, uh, 
Uh, I'll put up a poll on my Patreon for those of you who uh, subscribe to that. You can, of course, throw in your vote towards whatever ideas I end up coming up with. Otherwise, uh, we're going to call it here. Thank you for watching, everyone, and have a great day.